functional notation. The idea of functions form the basis of calculus. A function is like a machine where you put an input, you get processed and you get an output. And in addition, for every input, there is only one output. This makes functions predictable. It is important to understand how functional notation works. Functional notation we normally use is f parentheses x. That is, means f is a function of x. And we normally say f of x. x is the input and f of x would be the corresponding output. So for example, if we're asked to evaluate f of 3, well, that means plug 3 into your function and evaluate it. Our function here is given as f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 1. So I'm going to plug 3 in for this x. So we get f of 3 is equal to 3 times 3, I plugged it in for x, squared minus 1, and that gives me 26. Now, if we're asked to evaluate f of x plus h, and our function is given as f of x equals 3x squared minus 1, what do we do? We're no longer given a number as the input, we're given x plus h as the input. Well, it's asking us to plug in x plus h for our input, for x, into the function and then simplify. So how do we do that? Well, f of x plus h is equal to 3 times the input squared minus 1. And the input in this case is x plus h. So we have 3 times x plus h squared minus 1. Now we have to simplify this expression. Simplifying the expression is quite simple. It involves some algebra. x plus h squared means multiply x plus h times itself, and that involves foiling. So x plus h times x plus h gives me x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Then we distribute the 3, we multiply by the 3 to get 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared. And don't forget, we have to subtract 1 from the end. So that's the expression. That's f of x plus h for 3x squared minus 1. Now suppose we want to find a different expression, uh, f of x plus h minus f of x for the same function. The function is f of x equals 3x squared minus 1. So the function is 3x squared minus 1. But we want to find f of x plus h minus f of x. Well, from before we know that f of x plus h for this function was 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 1. And we're going to subtract off f of x. Well, f of x is the function, so we're going to subtract off 3x squared minus 1. So what we end up with is 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 1. That's all f of x plus h. And we're going to subtract off 3x squared minus 1. But be careful, you have to distribute the negative because we're subtracting. So we have a minus 3x squared and then a minus minus 1, which gives me a plus 1 at the end. Now that could be simplified further. 3x squared minus 3x squared, that cancels to 0. Minus 1 plus 1, those cancel to 0. And so what we're left with is 6xh plus 3h squared. So that 6xh plus 3h squared is f of x plus h minus f of x for the function we were given, and the original function was 3x squared minus 1. You should practice some more of this f of x plus h minus f of x, a very important concept in calculus, and that's why we learn it in pre-calculus.